Happy Valentine's Day to you, my loves. Oh, sorry, music. Um, today it's Valentine's Day and I'm not gonna do the things that I told you I wanted to do. I don't think I'm gonna spend this day with my boyfriend because lately he's being, I don't know, he's super, super concentrated on in himself and his stuff which is understandable but it's also understandable that I I become a little bit distant and yesterday evening like something happened and I was like okay you know what I don't want to see you tomorrow uh, he was just too busy and couldn't care less about what happened in my house. Uh, let me see if I can explain it in English. Sorry if it's complicated. Um, I have a, a lamp which is very old. My mom gave it to me and I fucking love it. And yesterday I tried to switch it on. And the, the wire um, went on fire. Do you see one? No, it's not. Anyways, there were there was fire in my fucking room i was so scared because i i like nearby there were like um there was stuff that was really uh, in inflammable like like um uh, there was a, a a chair uh a paper lamp another one and some stuff made of wood so i was like oh what am i gonna do i tried to to stop the fire with my hands <laughs> and it worked <laughs> but it was just you know it was a tiny fire from a cable but also in when the fire um went uh when, when the when i switched on the lamp and it it was on fire my whole apartment went down like the electricity and I couldn't um I couldn't switch on my my stuff so I was in the dark all alone with this fire thing that just happened I was like completely like terrified it was just a tiny thing but you know at the moment you're like oh my god what am I gonna do and yeah, it was like, uh, my boyfriend was too tired. I, I wrote him, listen, um, I had this thing happening and I'm, I'm all alone in the dark. But I was just too tired to care. Like, yeah. So I'm like, why should I, why should I see you today? Not because I'm like... Not because I'm super, super angry, but I'm I'm disappointed and I, I don't think we would spend some quality time together. And he's always so busy with this fucking work that he's doing. His appointment, appointments every, everywhere all the time. And he just like, he's too much focused on himself, so... I am gonna focus on myself and it's okay it's good uh, so yeah today I'm not gonna drink any Prosecco and I'm not gonna have any fucking cake because I don't want to I don't feel to and fasting wise is cool the thing that happened yesterday is that I broke my fast at 30 36 hours I know it's not 48 but I'm still okay with the result especially with the um, things that are happening in my life it's still like a nice step I told you the first step and but and I also ate some very nice stuff like um lots of um veggies basically and a little bit of um cocoa powder with some erythritol and just basically water so I'm pretty satisfied I just really wanted something healthy very healthy and nutrition not caloric 
caloric dense but something nutritious and I was very satisfied and and I'm ready to to keep on doing this I want I really want to do 48 um you do I know you, maybe you don't know Mika or maybe you do because she has a lot of um people that watch her videos she's so amazing so charismatic her videos are really, really entertaining and super interesting, and I love the way she talks. Um, I don't know, she's she's so powerful when she talks, it's incredible. I'm gonna um, put the link of her channel below, because I don't remember, it's like Mika, Mika weight loss, Mika fasting weight loss something. And she's doing rolling 48 with her her friend. His name is uh, on YouTube is Talking Tommy Takes Action. Amazing, you know, amazing videos. We're not used to like editing videos because like, for example, me and my super beloved spiritual mom, the skinny on me, Joanne, we... We don't have fucking time to do that, but I, I seriously love um, those videos, like Mika, when Mika's doing uh, editing or like when when I watch Talking Tommy videos, they're so fucking cool. Congrats, and I wish I was less lazy and I wish I could do, I could do this um, thing with my phone. I'm gonna try to do that. I, I think it's gonna be fucking awful at the beginning, but it can be like super, super fun. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, sorry I was talking uh, too much, but I, I wanted to say that these two amazing people, amazing fasters, amazing YouTubers are doing together the Rolling 48s. I don't know, it's cool. More and more people doing 48s. I think they're really cool. They're, if you if you do the a super nice refeed, you can have a lot of food. Just you need to check. You know, for example, you can have a lot of food if you have, for example, a lot of veggies. Yesterday I had a lot of uh, Brussels sprouts, and it's cool. They're filling. They're nutritious. And they're not that caloric, they have proteins, they have everything. So you can have like an amazing, super fulfilling meal and feel okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to be successful and then with, with my fasting, then we'll see if I can lose weight or not, if, it, if it's like, if I'm stalling, it's only because of my calorie intake. But uh, I'm taking one step at a time. So the first thing is like not eating every fucking day. It's very important. If you can do this, then everything is going, is going, I don't know. Everything will be at the right place. So yeah. Please consider doing 48 with us. And if you can't, it's cool. Just try again and again every fucking day like I do. And at the end, we're going to achieve our goals. I want to be 145 this spring. I am going to be 145 pounds this spring. All right? I fucking deserve it. 20 pounds. Nothing impossible. Totally doable. Even if it's not gonna be this spring, but it's gonna be fucking Christmas 2020. I take it. I take it. Still better than, like, being skinny this spring and then eat like crazy this autumn then be fucking uh, 2,000, 2000 million pounds uh, for Christmas, right? So let's be a little bit positive. 
strange. I'm never positive. And let's fucking do this thing. We can do it! Ciao, see you tomorrow.